The Nueces County Emergency Service District out in Flower Bluff is getting a new brush truck pretty soon. It's all thanks to a grant from the Department of Defense Firefighter Property Program. Sunrise reporter Roland Rodriguez joins us live from Flower Bluff. So Roland, I hear they've been waiting a while for this truck. All right, good morning, guys, and good morning, South Texas. They've been waiting two years. They are finally off the list, which means they get a new truck, and they now have two large brush trucks and one small brush truck. The grant awarded them a five-ton military truck and $20,000 for the fire pump and fire tank for the truck. This truck is not only a great benefit for Flower Bluff, but also for Padre Island because it helps to increase the firefighting capacity of the department. Right, it, it helps the small departments, rural areas, and it really helps extend your budget when you, know, you basically get the truck for free. Just in the last three years, the Nueces County Emergency Service District No. 2 has battled 265 brush fires. The new brush truck with its 750-gallon water tank and foam capability can only help the department. We need the, the small brush trucks are, are good for quick response and also for the lighter brush. The uh, bigger brush trucks are designed to deal with the heavy brush, which could be anywhere from 8 to 12 feet high. You need to kind of be able to, to bulldoze your way in there and, and take care of it. it. It gives us more capability for the brush fires and heavy brush where the smaller brush trucks can't get to it. And it has a dual purpose that it's also used for high water rescue. The new converted military tractor brush truck can better meet the growing demand of brush fires and help ensure the safety of the people and property. Basically, you're going to get twice the fire response uh, for the brush fires. You're going to get a lot bigger trucks a lot quicker. It should be here in the next 45 days and then it'll take probably two, maybe three months to get it in service. And it looks like the new brush truck will be ready to go just in time for brush fire season.